Hello, I'm Michael Glass from michaelglass.com, and this is our Forex Technical Analysis Training Plan for Friday, July 8th. Before we begin our video, we'd like to start off with our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what form investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. So this is our Forest Technical Analysis. In our video, we will review the prior session's price action, try to identify key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the gold chart for leading sentiment. We will try to create a low volatility and an inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. For comments and feedback, please send those to contact at dmbfx.com. Okay, as always, we are starting off with the gold chart, and we can see that we're basically putting in a doji in today. Uh, yesterday, we confirmed that we're in this new auction area, but we're putting in a doji, and that's pretty much because, for the most part, for the past couple of days, we can see on an hourly that our uh, price action has been overbought. And we, coming up to the market profile, we can really see a, a, a line in the sand here around 15.29, 15.28, where a lot of the volume is accumulating. So right now we're above that, and that's good. Um, our volume is in parity. Uh, it equals yesterday, and the buyer and the selling volume pretty much are the same. So... Uh, this is set up for a very nice rising three chart pattern, mat hold type chart pattern for continuation up to the upside. Um, we had some jobs data today. It will be confirmed tomorrow. So we'll see um, if tomorrow's con uh, more publicly accepted uh, non farm payroll for the states uh, will affect gold and allow gold to run higher as the dollar goes lower. But what we'll see is the dollar actually continue to move higher as we move to the um, pound dollar. So now when we look at the price action on the daily, we can see two things. Uh, the, the strength is getting weaker, but the sellers are still in control. The other thing we can see is that we've had these lines drawn in for a while. Uh, first, uh, as a support here, we drew that in, and then as we came down, we drew this line in uh, to match up with this area in here. So we seem to be in this range where we wicked out of it and we're wicking out of it, but we're seem to be closing right inside of it. So what do we need? We need a catalyst. And so when we come over to look at this on the hourly, we'll see, yes, the dollar is in control, but there, uh, it's not even above zero. Um, and the pound is is hooking back up while the dollar is hooking back down. So it's good to see the dollar up. Uh, but if you were watching here, you can see that the dollar just put in fractionally a lower high here, you know, fractionally. And we see that the pound is hooking up. So uh, that might mean that this in this turn here, we may have a, an area to see where buyers will find value. Um, but, you know. We'll have to confirm that. We can see that we are away from our long-term moving average. We are in a buy zone. So that does support that. But we'll wait for confirmation from our final indicator. As we switch to the euro dollar, you can see the wedge that we're still watching, still watching. Uh, we pushed down. We did wick down a little bit here. And if we really were looking at this, where this wick is here, uh, I bet you it matches up with what's going on here. Uh, you see we got some wicks here, wicks here, wicks here, support here. So notice that that's where we, where the buyers came in and found value. Um, here we can see just fractionally today that the euro took control. Now they're running parallel, which was probably what gives us the uh, as the euro took control, we ran back up, and now that we're running parallel, uh, fractionally above and below zero, uh, we're, we're getting this sideways action. So uh, things to look at is that we've made our run back up to parity. Uh, we're still fractionally in a buy zone. Um, 
the dollar still showing strength, but we can see the big move that the euro made and bouncing to, to try to make another move. So that would be good. And possibly now we won't come test the bonus. Maybe we will now go test the upside of this downtrend channel. Finally, we have the dollar franc here on the daily. We've been watching uh, the downtrend and we've been watching the support at 0.8318. We've been watching the volume kind of go up and down. The sellers are still in control. The selling volume is still there. And we can see that we spent a couple days at parity and now we've made our push up. Um, we even whipped up into some sell zones. So we're still kind of in a neutral zone, yet we're away from our long-term moving average. We can see that the dollar is still in control, but they're both heading currently right now down. Notice that we said fractionally before the dollar put in a lower high here, and we can say the same thing with the franc, more severe. So the dollar should stay in control, which may allow this move on a daily to get above these wicks and test the 50 moving average but in in the end we can see that uh, we're we don't have the confirmation to go along with our indicator and in the end we are right now currently in a neutral zone currently in our low volatility watch list our Bollinger Bands study we do not have any candidates uh, for our inside bar watch list we're going to watch the pound yen again mark the high and low of today's price action and watch for a break. So as we continue to talk about what separates winning and losing traders, we've talked about having a plan and we talked about knowing when to trade. And in conjunction with knowing when to trade is knowing when to get out. You know, there's a, a very famous song uh, in The Gambler, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Well, the golden rule of trading is cut your losses and let your winners run. You can't allow yourself to get into that tick by tick battle where you're, you know, uh, it, it's, it's gone past where you were supposed to get out, and every time it goes one tick in your favor, you, you get hope, and then it t goes five ticks against you. You can't get in that tick-by-tick -tick battle. Know your risk before you get into trade, and when it gets there, cut your losses. Let your winners run. Don't, uh, you know, so often people uh, don't maximize the trade because they take a small percentage of the, the move and then they get out you know just happen to have any profit cut your losses let your winners run it's clearly one thing that you can do that will change your uh, trading results at the end of the day so we want to thank you for watching our video as we always say we at DMBFX are about giving you no hype and no fluff it's about serious focus and disciplined trading thanks guys and we'll see you next time